The blueberry breeding program at the University of Florida has developed about 30 varieties of southern highbush blueberries and that's allowed the industry to grow to 5,000 acres with a farm gate value of about 70 million dollars. There's blueberries that are native to Florida but they're not high enough quality to be a commercial crop and so early on in the breeding program crossed some of those native Florida blueberries with northern adapted blueberries and then began selecting for blueberries that could make it through our uh, minimum winter period, our low chill period. I took over a program that has been uh, in existence for about 60 years uh, from Dr. Paul Irene, who was my immediate predecessor. And we developed low chill blueberry varieties specifically tailored for the environment in Florida. The unique thing about the blueberry industry in Florida is that we produce a crop of blueberries when nowhere else in the world has fresh blueberry fruit. Historically, it has meant that they get high prices for the berries because they're not much on the market. And uh, that's the real thing that has driven the growth of the Florida industry. Goal of my research is to develop new blueberry varieties that can grow and thrive in, in climate similar to Florida. Each year, we take about 200 different crosses to the field and we plant 100 seedlings from each of those crosses. On an average year we're planting anywhere from 15 to 20,000 plants. We use the molecular markers to identify the best plants to take to the field rather than taking all the plants to the field. So right from the start we're a little more efficient in the way that we handle our plant material. Two of the new areas that we're trying to focus on are texture, blueberry texture, uh, firmness, and flavor. And these are two things that we think could differentiate the blueberry crop in Florida going into the future. I hope that the varieties that I develop make a difference for someone, whether it's a grower that's able to continue producing blueberries because they have access to the latest varieties, or whether it's a consumer that keeps coming back to our blueberries because they taste better or they have a, a better texture.